done this for a while. Sleeping. We're on the Great Ocean Road. We're going to try to see the 12 Apostles. It's raining. The weather's not really looking good. And we all have a nice sleep. Last night we slept at the airport. to Lauren. This is our car right now. Tent and we're right by the ocean. Yay. Campsite. Woo. Car. This is our fancy car and our janky tent. It's not janky anymore because it fixed it. Now, miles are territorial. Yeah. They won't let any other males in their territory, but they may have up to six females at any one time. And the females may stay or they may move on. And as I was saying, dusk, the mature female should be in the breeding tank with the mature male, but she hates it. So, she's out here. And will live off the fat of their tail. And you know, they'll do that maybe extreme weather conditions or food shortages. They'll do that. <laughs> they also incubate their eggs with their tail. <laughs> A very playful too. <laughs> <laughs> they, when they do lay their eggs, which we'll talk about in the breeding room, they actually hold them to their tummy with their tail and incubate them. They use that tail to smack on the surface of the water to warn other platypuses of danger. This is Edwina, that's Eddie, and that's Thomas. <laughs> Echidnas are no relation to the porcupine or the hedgehog. Their only relative is the platypus. Their spines are not poisonous and they can't be ejected. It's just hair, modified hair follicles. Strong and sharp and you pump too tight if you run over one. We're now in a national park and this is our tent area. And we're gonna just hang out until sunset and then we will go watch that. And then tomorrow head to Hope. I'll do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 